taste, go down, taste, come up, taste, now tell me how it tastes when I look up, chase, go down, taste, come up, taste, now tell me how it tastes. What's going on? This is your boy Just. This is Just in the Kitchen. Today we have chicken and waffles. I love my chicken crunchy and my waffles fluffy. We're going to get into that. I'm going to show you my creative design on that dish. So, half a cup of vegetable oil, two eggs, half a teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of white sugar, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, three teaspoons of baking powder. So, first we're going to begin with two eggs. So right now I'm gonna beat the eggs to the stuff it. Put that right there. Next I'm gonna slowly add each ingredient and at the same time add my flour. So little by little, hope it doesn't get too dirty. So what I'm doing now is actually adding the two cups of flour little by little and also a cup and three-fourths of milk. Right now I'm using 2%. This uh, milk I grow on up on. I love it. Uh, if, you didn't try it, if you haven't tried it yet, go ahead and try that. Um, you use any milk you prefer. This is just my recipe. So I'm going to put a one cup in. Make sure all the ingredients are in there together. And also not to make a mess. I'm gonna add a salt. I'm gonna add a sugar. I'm gonna add a vanilla. Last but not least, the bacon powder so we can have a nice form afterwards. Put the all that just in there. And once all that is in, I'll see the milk start rolling at the same time. I'm just trying to clean off the cup with a wood. Right now we're trying to get a we want a good consistency. So now we're gonna set this to the side. So we're we're gonna prep our chicken. Butter up. Three to four tablespoons of salt. So right here I have two nice chicken breasts. Uh, I'm trying to trim as much fat off as possible. Then cut them into a decent sized script. I think we can probably get three decent sizes out of this one, so good portions. We're going to line them up and uh, submerge it in buttermilk. And, uh, I'm afraid it might dehydrate it too fast and take out all that flavor I need. So just sprinkle it a little bit, kind of eye it. So I would say uh, six strips, maybe two tablespoons of salt uh, with the submerged, with the chicken submerged in the buttermilk. So now I'm gonna make my flour cornstarch mixture for the chicken. And uh, what I typically I do is a two to one ratio. So like I'm gonna use uh, one cup of uh, flour and also a half cup cornstarch. So with that being said, I'm gonna uh, Use the salt I had from the chicken. Um, put a little bit of that. And also sugar. I like to use sugar to support those sweet flavors once you add the waffle. So add a little salt and sugar. To season my flour mixture. Let's see. What happens? We're gonna go into the breading stage. So anytime you want to do chicken, I typically hour beforehand uh, preheat either the oven or the oil ahead of time. So right now we're on 350. This ain't a fried egg, but it's a little, you know, frying mechanism. After 30 minutes of marination, we're gonna take our chicken out, double bread it. So when I say double bread, I'm actually gonna take these out separately once they're coated in the buttermilk. I'm gonna use this residual liquid to uh, be the second stage of the bread in the flour mixture. Put it back in the buttermilk, that second layer. You don't want to mess the first layer up, so be gentle with it. 
name for the back. Right now, this is around almost two liters of oil, vegetable oil I'm using. Throw this on top of that. I think. I guess. But uh, yeah, so now we're gonna put this to the side and um, get our waffle iron. I always, always, always use cooking spray. These things can stick. So right now I'm gonna use a one ladle. I would think it's probably almost four ounce, four ounce ladle. Four dollars. I would say no more than seven minutes on this one. And it's just gonna sound like she's done. And you see the color, that's almost the color we want. So we're almost there. Uh, I give it probably a minute or so. So earlier I made uh, a blackberry syrup. I just cook down the blackberries with brown sugar, white sugar, water, and a little bit of salt. Now, uh, it got a beautiful color. So with these, I'm actually gonna put some of these blackberries inside the waffle to see what they look like. And also use the syrup, you know. You do this with any fruit, uh, strawberries, peaches, uh, raspberries, you name it. If you want plain over syrup, you can use water and sugar equal parts. So if you was to use half a cup of water, half a cup of sugar. Our chicken, very crispy. This is exactly what you want right here. Here how I hit that, that plate, I mean it's very crispy. But it's crispy. A little bit of sweet, more of a savory side, but those, those flavors together, oh. All oh, that's good. And so, the waffles are actually done. I'm gonna get those bad boys out. So right now we got the chicken and waffles. I love golden, more of the yellowish, close to you know a light brown color. So. So here we have. Uh, different variations of the waffles you can do. We have a red velvet waffle, and also a waffle with the blackberries inside from the syrup we did earlier. So you can play with the butter as much as you want. Um, add your favorite flavors. Uh, next, I'll probably put a video up for the red velvet. This was actually with red coloring, so next one will be with a fruit puree. Uh, around that, you know, the color, maybe the raspberry or strawberry be tuned for that but um those are alternatives for like vegans or vegetarians people do not want coloring our eggs inside of their uh, waffle batter by the way eggs for a substitute for that you can use a puree or uh, arrowroot so chicken and waffles done by your boy Jess Jess in the kitchen thanks for watching Go down, taste, right. come up, taste, right. now tell me how it tastes, oh. tell me how it tastes, let me see your face.